Hey guys, Jason with CV Customs. Today we're looking at a South Bend clutch setup. We have a 24 valve out of an 06 Dodge. I can't really vouch for this. All I can tell you is everybody told me this is the way to go. So this is what I'm doing. The kit recommends that you change the master cylinder, slave cylinder, so that's this box. You need to get a flywheel and you need to have the clutch. Make sure you got everything when you're ordering it because apparently you need everything. The, uh, the flywheel replaces this dual flywheel system that they have that's supposed to make it smoother, but when it fails, it really makes it a lot rougher and it's just garbage. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put South Bend on the 24 valve out of an 06 Cummins. And I'll get this set up and we're, we're just gonna put this to the side. I'll show you guys how to put this on on the next video, the, the slave cylinder, master cylinder. Right now we'll focus on the clutch and the flywheel. We'll get these two on and we'll go from there. Okay, so now we've got the flywheel ready to go on. Flywheel should be pretty cut and dry. If, uh, if you took your flywheel off your, your Cummins 24 valve, it might have been a kind of a pain. There's a few bolts you gotta get to, almost like you're taking off a torque converter. And you gotta do it through the inspection port on that. It, it, it's a pain. This flywheel should be a very traditional flywheel. Looks like it comes with the hardware, so we can bolt it on, and the hardware for the new clutch. It even has the pilot bearing in there. Oh my gosh, this dude is heavy. Okay. Look at it, all the spacing's right. So this is seriously a bolt-in deal. You don't have to change your starter or anything like that. The 24 valve, just like almost every inline six, is internally balanced. So you don't have to worry about putting a certain hole in a certain spot to keep the engine balanced. The engine itself is balanced. This flywheel is balanced. So it's really just bolted on. We'll put the eight bolts on, we'll torque them down, do all that stuff. Let me, uh, I'll get it set on and started <laughs> so I can show you how to torque it down and do all that. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I threw it up here because this thing's really heavy. Put one bolt in it, just hand tight. Now we'll throw the other bolts in. The, uh, the flywheel did not come with torque specs, but the engine calls for 101 foot-pounds of torque on all eight bolts. So that's what we're gonna do. We got all eight. We'll throw them in with the speed wrench. And then we'll grab the torque wrench and we'll torque it down. Okay, so when you're torquing this down, just go ahead and torque it down like you're doing a tire on your car. I've already got this set. So it looks like we're gonna have to lock up this so it can't move. There are a couple different ways to do that. I've been able to use a flathead screwdriver as leverage right here. So let me grab that. We'll come back and we'll see if it works for us. All right, got my flathead. We come right here through the starter port and just grab a tooth. Sounds like we're good. So we'll jump around in the star pattern holding it through the starter hole and torque all of them down. After you torque one, 
mark it with a paint marker, move to the next one. That way you know everything's torqued down. Okay guys, we got our uh, flywheel all torqued down. You can see all the green paint mark. We did a star pattern at 101 foot-pounds. Now we're gonna take a look at our clutch. New disc, looks nice. They even gave us a sticker, so that's cool. South Bend, you can put it on the truck or something. Comes with the alignment tool. That's to keep the disc in line with the pressure plate and the throttle bearing so the transmission can go in. New throw up bearing, also nice. Another pilot bearing, which we don't need because we got the flywheel and the flywheel had a pilot bearing in it. So that's really cool. It also comes with the new hardware, but the flywheel itself already has the hardware in it. So we'll just pull the hardware out and see if there's any differences and pick the best one. Oh. Okay, it's got a little sticker that says, clutch fingers must be level. <laughs> okay, they must be level before installing the transmission. So what that means, these fingers, when you, when you clamp it down on, on that disc, they're gonna flatten out. And if they're not even, something's not right. If it's on a flat plate and everything comes down, these spring-loaded fingers are all gonna be flat. That's what this sticker means. So we don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'll get it set up and then I'll show you the torquing it down. I think it's like 17 pounds, but I'll double check before we do it. But what I'll do here is I'll throw the disc up here. I'll put the pressure plate on and I'll throw a couple of bolts. And then we'll go around and in the same star pattern, we'll torque it down. Again, I'll, I'll verify the torque specs. And we'll use the alignment tool to keep the disc where we want it. So I'll get right back to you guys on that. Okay, we're gonna throw <clears throat> the disc and the pressure plate on. There's actually a sticker that says pressure plate side. This is the flywheel. This goes away from the flywheel. Now what I do is I'll just shove the alignment tool in the disc and then set it in. Now it's not exactly right because you got to get it as square as you can. Right now it's kind of hanging, but it'll let me put the pressure plate on, set all the bolts up, start tightening it up so it's a little snug and then we can square this up. So that's what we're doing. Pressure plate. Having an engine stand for one of these big engines really makes it a lot easier. Okay, there. So she's hanging. I'll get all the bolts in, I'll get ready so we can start torquing it down and I'll show you guys from there. Okay, I'm trying to get you close in here so you can see what I was talking about with the fingers and these need to be flat. So to get this square, you just wanna make sure it's nice and flush. <clears throat> these bolts aren't tight right now. So we're gonna go in with the speed wrench, but you'll be able to see these. When I tighten this one, these are gonna start coming in. These aren't gonna move. As you go around, everything's gonna start to flatten out and this needs to be flat. See how uneven it is now? We come down here, same thing is going to happen. These are going to start coming in. The 
see and now you've got these popped out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna tighten everything flush. Then I'll come back and I'll torque in a crisscross pattern and we'll get back to that. But I just wanted to show you guys what that was due. Okay, so we tighten the bolts down just to where the pressure plate is flush with the flywheel. All of our fingers on the pressure plate are now flat, which is exactly what we wanted. That means we're aligned. This can even come in and out now. That disc won't move now with this flat because now there's already spring pressure on the disc. So we're actually done with the alignment tool. But now we gotta torque every bolt down to 17 pounds. Just do it in a crisscross pattern, doesn't matter. You're not gonna need to hold it because you're only going to 17 pounds. Right there, right there. But we're gonna crisscross as we check everything. So that's it. Now we've got a clutch installed. We're ready to throw our transmission in it. And the next video will show you how to put the uh, master cylinder and slave cylinder on. So hope you guys check it out.